Hi guys, welcome back again. Today I'm sharing with you an undergraduate scholarship opportunity to Canada. Actually, there's someone who requested me, they were like, we really like opportunities to Canada and I said, this one I must share with you guys. If you know someone looking for that opportunity or if you are the one, please stay tuned to the very end of this video because I'm going to tell you how to apply more details about the scholarship, where you can find A, B, C, D, you know, links and all that stuff. So just stay tuned to the end of the video. Welcome guys. So today's opportunity is an undergraduate scholarship to Canada. I've gotten requests, people are looking for scholarships to Canada and this is one of those I'm bringing to you and there's many more that's coming. So it's an undergraduate, you know undergraduate is bachelor's and it's specifically for African students, okay? So if you're an African student or you know someone who may benefit, as usual, do them a favor and share out this scholarship because it can benefit someone out there. So the scholarship is offered by the University of Ottawa, okay? It's in Ottawa, Canada, and the course is going to be to be done in English. So if you're an English-speaking person from Afri an African country, uh, you have citizenship from an African country, you are encouraged to apply. Uh, they will renew this scholarship every year, depending on your performance, but I'm going to tell you more about this detail in a short while. The scholarship is specifically offered for two faculties, Faculty of Science and Faculty of Social Sciences. So you know Faculty of Science have courses like Biology, Chemistry, Physics, Science, and then Social Sciences, you have Humanities, you have Community Development and such like courses. So if you know you fall in this area, this scholarship can be for you. So for you to be eligible, okay, you must be an international student from any African country. That one I've already said, you must prove citizenship. You must have citizenship of that country. You know, you may be living in an African country, but you don't have citizenship. That one um, will be a problem. So you must prove citizenship of that African country. Then you must have a valid study permit. Yes, you must have a study permit. That means uh, you are going to Canada to be a student and you've been given a permit or a visa to go to study. Okay. So this is being offered to newly admitted undergraduate programs. Uh, which are offered in English. So that means you've applied to the university, you've been admitted, you have admission letter, and you, you, you are going to study there, then you are eligible to apply for the scholarship. So I've already told you about the programs offered, but there are some exceptions. In this case, in the Faculty of Science, all programs are offered except Bachelor of Science in Physics, Bachelor of Science in Ophthalmic Medical Technology, Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering, and in Biochemistry. So these ones are exceptions. But if every other course in the Faculty of Science uh, is eligible for, for this particular scholarship. The social sciences courses can be public administration, conflict studies, international development and globalization, anthropology, social, sociology, you know, these are just examples of those courses, but I'm going to give you the links at the end of this whereby you can be able to check the nitty gritty details about the particular courses. So the award is going for a value of $12,500 per year. So there are going to be two terms, okay, in one year. So you'll be given $6,250. A thousand dollars per term that comes to twelve thousand five hundred dollars per year, and then after the first year, you'll be eligible to be renewed for the second and the third and the fourth year if it's an undergraduate, for example, for four years. But for you to be able to to get the renewal, you must have had first of all a good grade. Okay, you must have a five and above. Five is average, but five and above cumulative grade for the year that you have finished so if they give this they give you this scholarship for the first year for you to get it for the second year you must have a, a five grade and above and also you must still be enrolled in the particular course that you are enrolled in in the beginning so you cannot say i'm going to change from let's say biology to chemistry and then you want to still uh, keep the scholarship no you must have a full-time registration with the undergraduate program that you are admitted in uh, at the time of admission Okay, so the interesting part about this scholarship is the application procedure. So there is no specific application procedure. Actually, the only thing you need to do is for you to apply to this program. As long as you have applied to study there and you've got an admission and you're an African from an African country, you are actually eligible automatically to get the scholarship. 
okay and once the admission has been done and they check and they see okay you are going to be given the scholarship you will be notified about the award at the time of admission so when you are admitted now you've applied for admission okay so when they've accepted your admission they notify you that you have also gotten a scholarship i hope you've understood me that's a little bit confusing but uh, in a nutshell let me summarize here you go you look at the course you want to apply you apply okay then you don't even have to say i'm applying for a scholarship or abcd no but as long as you are coming from an african country you have proof of african citizenship and you've applied to the courses that they're being considered if you're given the scholarship when you're being admitted they will tell you that they've given you the scholarship so it's an automatic application process as usual i provide the links this is the official link of the scholarship for you to go and check read through uh, get the documents that are needed if you have any questions you have people there you can contact that are coming directly from the school and they can give you the nitty-gritty details that you want did you find it helpful guys i hope you did i have actually launched my website where i'll be posting scholarship opportunities whether i upload them on youtube or not you'll be sure that i will post there an opportunity every week and you can go through read share the links to your friends and to other people who may not be able to access videos so that they can also find out about opportunities and apply for them let me tell you about it so it's called metien inspirations so simply you will go to metieninspirations.com and when you go to the blog you look for opportunities you know that you usually share about relationships opportunities adventure and inspiration and i'm going to show you particularly the opportunities tab this is where i share any opportunities that you can be using to better your life if it's a scholarship opportunity job opportunities or any other thing that can better your life and your career and your professional life uh, for example here we have undergraduate scholarship in canada we have bachelor's and master's in ireland we have a scholarship in turkey we have a mauritius fully funded scholarship we have japanese for teachers so guys i don't even want to go through all this but i am promising you that you may not have bundles to watch a video but if you can bookmark this page metieninspirations.com and you come to check the opportunities you can be sure that whenever i'm posting even on my videos i'll be able to post the same and expound on it in a written form on the website this one was for romanian government and many many more so i hope to see you in the videos and on the website as well let's get these opportunities and make our life better thank you guys for joining me if you are new kindly subscribe to our channel and put on the notification bell so that whenever we upload a new video you are notified and don't forget to like the video let me know give me a comment you know to tell me what you think about this kind of videos and of course i hope to see you in the next one thank you Bye.